Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Jane TV. Delighted to have Nina Frizzone in the here. in the studio. Um, you know, has one of the the first point of contact for Jing, in fact, is uh, mm. one of Nina's Nina's many jobs around Jing. And um, we're here today to talk actually about how you can best keep in contact with your clients, particularly in these um, today's world of wonderful technology. So, what's your first top tip, Nina, for keeping in contact? Okay, first top tip is be contactable. Yeah. Um, um, so, it sounds obvious, but the first thing you need is a phone number. Um, so, looking mm. at whether you want to use your mobile phone as your best point of contact for clients, or even a home phone number, mm. or, you know, the salon you're working at. Yeah. Um, so, a few things to bear in mind. If you are going to use your home phone as your business point mm. of contact, or even your mobile, you need to make sure that you've got a professional sounding voicemail yeah and it sounds really obvious but Nina obviously calls thousands of massage therapists every year mm. don't you because yeah. um, you're talking to people through Jing and you were saying you were saying to me you're amazed at how many people just actually haven't got don't any have a voicemail. voicemail yeah and if you don't have a voicemail just get one because imagine the amount of people who are trying to book, yeah. book a, you know book a treatment with you and just not being able to get through so yeah and I know for really myself, important. if I call someone and I just get one of those automated voicemails, I just think, oh, have I got the right person? Yeah, is it... who is this person? Yeah. What are they talking about? Especially if it sounds like a bit of a weird mm. voicemail. Yeah. yeah, so make sure you're saying who you are and what you do. So, yeah. you know, hi, my name's Nina Frizzoni. I'm a massage therapist. If yeah. you'd like to book an appointment, leave a message after the tone. Yeah, um, and I think the other thing about your phone number is don't change it because <laughs> if it's gone out on flyers and all, all the rest, of it so yeah so we've actually our phone number at Jing is a phone number from has never changed yeah exactly from a residential property that Meg and I lived in about 15 years ago that we've managed to transport with us so, yeah, yeah. Um, and another thing about voicemails if you go on holiday just say I've gone away yes. on holiday yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the things about um, keeping in contact with your clients is they need to know when you're going to get back to them yeah. so as a general rule get back to everyone within 24 hours definitely yeah because otherwise they just, yeah. you know, it just goes into an abyss. So yeah. if you're on holiday, just say I'll be on holiday and I'll get in contact next week. Yeah. And I think it's also fine to say on your voicemail your business hours. So, yeah. you know, I, I add phone calls between 9 and 5. I'll aim to get back to you within 24 hours. So people are calling you at 8 o'clock at night. They're not expecting to get an answer. Yeah. Professional Perfect. boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Great. Get a proper voicemail. Next okay. topic. Okay. Um, so email. Another point email, of contact. Yeah. Great point of contact. So, um what is your email address <laughs> to start with? Yes. Um, so again, I email thousands of therapists every year. Um, so someone who has a whoopsie daisy ninja <laughs> at hotmail.com, if you're emailing them, it doesn't really sound like a professional yeah. email address. Yeah. So make sure you're either using, if you have a website, the URL of yes. your website. Yeah. So for example, I'm nina at jingmassage.com. Yeah. Um, or if not, you know, just use your name or whatever the name of your business is mm. at, say, Gmail. Yes. Because... Yeah. Well, we were talking about Hotmail is a bit, little bit associated with spam these days. So yeah. if you have got a Hotmail account, it might be a good idea to set up a, a, um, Gmail, a Gmail account. Or yeah. a Mac account if you yeah. prefer. Yeah, yeah. And just, Mac yeah, make, make your name professional and straightforward. So either your name or the name of your business. Yeah. 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 Perfect. And again, with emails... Um, it's always great if you can have a signature at the bottom. Yeah. So when you're sending people an email, just at the bottom a few lines, what your name is, what you actually do. Yes. So whether you're a massage therapist, a clinical therapist, whether you mm. do other services as well, mm. you know, whether you're a physio or an osteopath or whether yeah. you offer, you know, yeah. whatever else you do and your address at the bottom if you want to give it. It yeah. just makes the whole thing look a little bit more polished, a bit more wrapped up and a bit more professional. Yeah. And... Because I know that a lot of massage therapists are not ultra techie, so just so you know, that's not something that you have to put on every email um, each time. There is a, a, an email setting where you can go in and add your signature with whatever information yeah. you want. So if you don't know how to find that, get your teenage person that you know down the road <laughs> to show you, and they will know. Yeah, and again with the emails, just get back to people within 24 hours if yeah. you go on holiday get your teenage person to teach you how to do it automated but, reply yeah, yeah automated reply i am out of the office unable to reply to emails until whatever yes. day yeah and yeah, then yeah. turn it off when yeah you get back in the yeah exactly and actually that's something to think about if you get into the habit of communicating with your clients with text mm. i haven't yet found an automated reply option on text so mm. 
just Ooh, think about that. Holiday. If your clients are used to texting you, then you'll be getting texts on holiday, which is there. You know, you're then either have to reply to. Um, so you might want to let people know if you're going on on holiday. Yeah. Or, or not use text as a form of communication with your clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, I think we've got time for one more top tip okay, before we so finish. Okay, so staying in touch newsletters. Newsletters, great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so it's a great way of keeping in contact with people. If you start collecting, if you ha don't already have the email addresses of all the people that you are mm. in, you know, working with, start collecting them. It's a great way of staying in touch. Yeah. Send them a newsletter, either weekly or monthly. Yeah. Um, whatever you choose to do stick with it because yeah. what they don't want is a couple of newsletters you know and then nothing. one day one day yeah, one yeah, day yeah, and yeah. then nothing for six months yeah so if you're going to do things you know make sure it's fairly regular yeah um and i think think about what's in it for your clients so yeah. less about what you're doing and more about what you can do for them so um, yeah. it's nice to send out informational newsletters five top tips for low yeah. back pain any special offers that you're doing you know keeping them updated but we get in inundated with a lot of things in our email boxes these days so think about what's going to make your client want to read it what yeah. will make you want to read it so yeah and then that also ties in very nicely with blogging, blogging. which i think we might, we might be talking about in a later episode, episode of but TV. Of TV. <laughs> stay tuned but yeah 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 and Perfect. there's also nothing there's loads of like email marketing free email marketing yeah there's templates a, out there there is there's a Mailchimp. great one called mailchimp yeah. so as long as you're sending i think it's under a thousand emails a month yeah. It is completely free. Um, it's got great sort of design mm. functions in it and it allows you to monitor who you're sending emails to, who's responding yeah, to them, yeah. who's clicking on what links. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it really gets you yeah. to understand your client base. That's right. Um, but I would also say, also in this email weary world, then actually returning to print, I think. Sometimes I notice Ooh. these days, I'm, <laughs> I'm taking more notice of things that come through the door, yeah. like the local newsletter and things. Yeah, so, precisely. You know, it's a bit retro. What goes around comes around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and what goes around comes around this week on Jing TV so we've got to wrap up but we will be talking about blogging other related things in the future and uh, give us your ideas let us know how you keep in touch with your clients and get rid of that dodgy email and phone <laughs> voicemail <laughs>